Australia is committed to using new technologies, new science to help us drive sustainable development. Digital Earth Australia is an example of this, where we're taking petabytes of freely available satellite data, making sure that it's tailored for Australia, whether it be for governments who really want to use this data to help drive better policy making, better investments in protecting and enhancing our environment, whether it be the public who just want to understand how is their local community changing through time, or whether it be for businesses who want to use this rich information to drive increased productivity and increased profitability across the entire Australian economy. We can already start to see benefits from some of the products that are being developed in Digital Earth Australia. The agricultural sector is benefiting from the fractional cover products that we have and water resource managers are benefiting from the water observations from space product. These products have far-reaching implications so they can be applied anywhere from Cambodia to Africa to anywhere in the world. I've been working in a project with Cambodia in order to create an open data cube. Uh, the idea is to use satellite imagery and a set of environmental data sets to produce a range of water management and drought predictive tools. I'm excited about being able to upskill individuals from a country to use an Open Data Cube to be able to become part of the Open Data Cube community, which is all free, all open source. We're very excited about the new African Regional Data Cube. It brings this new data technology to five different countries in Africa that typically are not users of satellite data. And they're gonna have this chance now to look at the Earth from totally new ways and to use it for sustainable development goals. Initially, data was being siloed as a, a scientific tool, but what I've learned is data actually is an everyday thing that should inform, transform, and even inform how we do our daily business. From our own livelihood, to environment, and to policy, and to how we engage as networks with globally and locally. We are especially pleased that uh, with the launch of the African Regional Data Cube, that will begin to make the benefits of data revolution more real and tangible to data communities who have often been left behind. This is a big step towards the destination of who we want to be in 2030. We now have the opportunity to bring the outcomes that have been demonstrated through this technology in Australia to benefit every African through the development of Digital Earth Africa. Digital Earth Africa will build on the fantastic work done to develop the African Regional Data Cube across five countries in Africa, but will effectively scale that to the whole of the 54 countries across the African continent. Digital Earth Africa will deliver an operational platform providing continuous updates of the decision-ready Earth observation products for use by governments, by NGOs, by businesses and individual citizens, updated every time a new satellite flows overhead. It will really support the sustainable development of Africa. It will deliver improved water, food, environmental and disaster security for every African citizen and improve the lives of all Africans.